Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here, and this is the last question on the test, and this is really a thinking question, an honors level question. It says, the terminal side of an angle theta in standard position coincides with the line with the equation 5x plus y equals 0, as shown in the figure below. What is the value of secant theta? Okay, so we need to recognize that secant is the reciprocal function to cosine. So cosine theta uh, or 1 over cosine theta is equal to secant theta. So that's important for me to kind of recognize, right? But we know that cosine is actually adjacent over hypotenuse. That actually means that secant theta is equal to hypotenuse over, hypotenuse over adjacent. That might be more helpful to me, okay? All right, so when I think about this, the line equation and the terminal ray, um, they coincide, it means that that terminal side is the same. And if I want to find theta, I can't use this angle because it's obtuse. Remember, that's when I need to use the acute angle, which would be this guy, okay? So I'm actually going to make a triangle. Drop the altitude, remember our triangles always form a bow tie with the x-axis. I'm actually going to pull it out like this. Okay, so this is what we have. And I guess my question would be, what's the, the, the y value and what's the x value? Well, to be honest with you, if you think about that, that would be the slope of the line. And I said, hey, use the slope. Well, what is the slope of the line? Well, so it's in standard form. So you, some of you may remember to find the slope in standard form. It's just negative a over b, which would be negative 5 over 1. Okay. Others might have to put it in y equals mx plus b, which would give me y equals negative 5x. So my slope is negative 5 over 1. Okay, so my change in y is 5 units, right? And my change in x is 1 unit, right? Because slope is change in y over change in x. So if I know this is 5 and this is 1, I'd have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Okay, so that would be 5 squared plus 1 squared equals h squared. Okay, so 25 plus 1 is 26. And so we take the square root of both sides. Know that when we do that, we get a positive and negative answer, but because we're talking about length, we're only going to look at the positive value. So that value right there is root 26. Now it's important to know that the, that the uh, y value here is negative, right? Because we're in quadrant 2, okay? So if I want to find secant theta, I need the hypotenuse over the adjacent, which would be, because my theta is right here, negative 1 all over, I'm sorry, root 26 over negative 1. So secant theta would be equal to negative root 26. Okay. Hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.
So then I'm going to go down to negative pi over 3, back at 0, up at pi over 8, down at pi over 4, down here, back up to the midline, back up, and back down. That looks like it's two rotations, so let's see. And there's two periods of the graph. Okay, so how can I just check to make sure I've done all this right? Well, number one, you should be able to verbally describe what's happening here. So we have an amplitude of two. So from the midline, am I going up two and down two? I certainly am. But one way I always like to check myself is actually to like look at a table of values or check Desmos. So I've already done that. I put the graph into Desmos here. And um, so I put in my graph. And then I plugged in my points, my x values um, that I came up with along the x-axis. And you can see it's starting negative pi over 4 to negative 1. gives me a y value of negative 1. Negative pi over 8 was at negative 3, 0, negative 1. So you can see those values. There's, you know, that negative uh, 2 pi over 8, which was pi over 4, which was at negative 1, then down to negative 3, then up to negative one and then back up to one. So there's lots of ways that you can check your answers on this one. Um, again, that five step process um, really just breaks it down into parts. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day.